Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna compare Dell Technologies with Super Microcomputer and answer which one I think is the better AI stock to buy. Of course, each of these companies works with NVIDIA to install AI servers for enterprises trying to implement artificial intelligence. And so they're both gaining notoriety for their role in the development of AI. So I'm gonna compare these two and look at revenue, cash flow, profitability, valuation and their prospects over the next five years to determine which one I think is in a better position to capitalize on the AI trend and ultimately which one will make a better investment over the next few years. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so the first metric I'm gonna compare these two stocks on is trailing 12 month revenue. And I've created their own chart here for Supermicrocomputer and Dell because of the different scale they're on, right? Supermicrocomputer is roughly one tenth the size of Dell Technologies, but Supermicrocomputer is growing much more rapidly than Dell, which is declining. You can see revenue here for Super Microcomputer has exploded from a little less than 4 billion in 2022 up to 9.25 billion in the most recent trailing 12 month period with several quarters of above 100% revenue growth for Super Microcomputer. So they've already experienced the surge in demand from enterprises trying to implement AI. Dell Technologies, meanwhile, not there yet, still in decline. Revenue 88 billion in the most recent trailing 12 months, down from over 100 billion in 2023. Of course, Dell also has the consumer business segment, which is struggling because computers were purchased in large quantities in 2020 and 2021. So there was a gap between when those computers would be replaced. That being said, 2020, 2024 is the beginning of that replacement cycle for when those computers were purchased. Four to six years is the average life of a computer, the average individual that is. If you're a more intensive computer user like myself, the replacement is sooner. If you're only using the computer for email and browsing and light work, then you can keep your computer for longer than that. But for the average user, four to six years is that replacement cycle, which we're just now getting into. And that's gonna be a tailwind for Dell Technologies over the next three years or so. The next thing I wanted to compare these two on is their operating profit margin. And in this metric, Super Micro Computer, again, is better than Dell Technologies, 9.4% in its most recent trailing 12 month period, compared to 5.89% for Dell. Although both of these companies are demonstrating nice progress upward in their operating profit margin, still Super Micro Computer holds a meaningful advantage over Dell in this metric. Looking ahead for the next five years, analysts on Wall Street that are following Super Micro Computer stock, they expect SMCI to increase their earnings per share by 48% per year for the next five years. Robust earnings per share growth to be sure expected for Super Micro Computer from the analysts on Wall Street that are closest to Super Micro Computer stock. Arguably, they are the investors that know the most about Super Micro Computer stock and they are optimistic about its earnings forecasts for the next five years. Dell Technologies, not so much. The investors that are following Dell Technologies stock. They expect it to deliver 0.81% earnings per share growth for the next five years. That's hardly any growth at all. So the analysts on Wall Street that are following Dell and Super Microcomputer are much more optimistic about Super Microcomputer's prospects over the next, next five years. The next metric to compare these two on is cash flow from operations to sales. And in this metric, Dell holds an advantage at 9.81% compared to Supermicro at negative 1.47%. Dell's consumer business model helps it improve this cash flow from operations to sales metric. Dell doesn't build the inventory until the customer orders the computer and so it doesn't need to make the computer and hold it in inventory and then sell it which decreases your cash flow from operations because you're spending cash on inventory and waiting until you can turn it into cash again after sale instead dell waits for the customer purchase and then builds the computer and sells it and that is more friendly to its 
cash flow from operations. And you can see that here with the advantage at 9.81% compared to negative 1.47% for super microcomputer because of that different business model, that unique business model for Dell that provides it an advantage. Now, if we compare these two on return on invested capital, which measures how good these businesses are at taking capital from investors, investing it in operations, and generating profitability, Super Microcomputer is nearly three times as strong as Dell Technology, or a little more than twice as strong would be a closer estimate at 30.89% compared to 12.92% for Dell Technologies. But again, both of these companies demonstrating strong progress upward in its profitability and in its return on invested capital. So the businesses themselves are both headed in the right direction. They're both getting more profitable. They're both becoming better at cash flow from operations. So their prospects are solid in terms of their execution, their business performance. And of course, I want to look at their balance sheet. I want to look at long-term debt more specifically. I want to see how indebted these companies are. And Dell has significantly more debt at $26 billion compared to Super Microcomputer at $375 million. You might say, well, Dell is a larger company than Super Microcomputer. Of course, it's going to have more long-term debt. And I would agree with you. But still, if I compare the long-term debt to revenue, then still, Super Microcomputer is in a better position, right? Dell has $26 billion in long-term debt to $88 billion in revenue, whereas Super Microcomputer has $300 million in long-term debt to $9.25 billion in revenue. So the debt to revenue, even though Dell is a larger company, the percentage is still larger for Dell Technologies versus Super Microcomputer. And finally, I wanted to compare these two on valuation because clearly what we saw is Super Microcomputer is the better business in nearly every metric that we looked at. Super Microcomputer was the better one, except of course for cash flow from operations. Everything else, return on invested capital, operating profit margin, revenue growth, earnings per share expectations for the next five years, all seem to be in favor of super micro computer stock. So if they were trading at the same price, this would be a no brainer. We wouldn't even need to think any further. We could just automatically make that decision, but they're not selling at the same price. Super micro computer is nearly twice as expensive as Dell Technologies, trading at a forward price to earnings of 30.36 compared to Dell, which is trading at a forward PE of 14.72. So did Super Microcomputer earn this more than 2x premium valuation over Dell? In my opinion, I think it did. I think it did earn that premium valuation over Dell because of its performance metrics that we looked at across the board in the critical, the critically important financial metrics. Super Microcomputer was well ahead of Dell in those important areas. So I would be willing to pay that more than twice the valuation for super micro computer stock today. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.